we had just finished recording the album, mixing the album, and mastering the album, which are the three things you have to do to finish an album, and the three most time-consuming and expensive things. And we were sitting down, listening to it. It's done. It shouldn't need any more work. We spent a lot of money and time on it, and it just wasn't right. Well, we always knew we wanted to release an album. I mean, that's every band's kind of goal or dream. You know, you want to be able to put out a full body of work. Um, we did the EP uh, in 2014 and uh, knew we need to follow up with an album sooner or later. So it took a long time to get to a point where we could actually record something and at the level we wanted to. The album means a lot of hard work and a lot of commitment from the band. Um, when we were recording it, a lot of us were working already. Some of us were still students. and. We had to go to the studio even after school, after work, we'd still have to take the time to practice. But at the same time, I think it when you're talking about the music, it shows a lot of growth also. We decided to name it Traces because of the idea of it being like a story, you know. Traces, um, when you think about it, it's like bits and pieces. So Traces is like different emotions and feelings when you get when you're growing up or traveling or when you're with your friends or experiencing life in general. So it's traces of your life. Um, traces was an ode to our youth in a way that we were very happy-go-lucky in, in the sense that we just went with the flow and we, we didn't even decide to do music as a career but I think for a lot of us it's a career in itself and it's nice that Traces reflects our happiness at that time when we were just making music and being ourselves and just having fun. Uh, so that is the album art. It's a bit dusty now. It's been sitting up there for some time. And this actually was Leah's, our bass player. This was her thesis, her draft, a draft of her thesis. It was another thing to worry about on top of putting together a CD, but it was worth it. It's just cool too, because there's one. There's only one. There only ever can or will be one. And uh, yeah, I like that. Um, this room is actually where we first had our listening party. And then we invited our friends, we, our parents. We were all there sitting down in the music room. And then we were listening to it. And then we were like, after, parang, is this it? And we enjoyed it, parang, wow, it's so cool, like, tapos na, ganyan. Pero parang, we were like, maybe we can do more. <laughs> and then, so, as a band, we decided to have it mixed and mastered again. Parang, we didn't want to risk our first album not being the best that we can put out. We've had a few disagreements and a few struggles but we never had like a big fight or anything really divisive. Balancing everyone's schedules so you know finding time to practice, finding time to jam. Work-life balance is also hard because all of us do more than music. We have a full day job or we had school or we have other side or passion projects so. When you start to start songwrite as a group more you know it can be tough to to figure out if one person likes one sound and one person likes another, you know, how do you determine which one to go for? So there's definitely things like that, but I think what we just focus on is like being decent to each other, compromising. If two people have an idea, like rather than shutting one idea down, like we'll fully try both ideas. And then sometimes we'll discover, hey, yeah, this idea that we didn't think would work actually does kind of work and maybe a little bit better. Or other times you see that, oh yeah, no, this idea, we didn't think it would work. We tried it and it still didn't work. So we can feel confident about moving on and moving away from it. Well, a lot of the songs are about introspection and self-discovery and getting out of your comfort zone. And I think me, alongside with everyone else, we were all, you know, we're all in that time of our lives of just stepping out of our comfort zones, transitioning into new situations, and changing as individuals. Like it's a combination of Kian's old music, which already has been made and some of the songs that we made as a band together. I think they reflect a quality that's um, also quite real. So they're not all, you know, happy and, and um, just cheerful and just talking about the bright side of life. Like, if you listen through the album, you'll also find a lot of elements there that are 
that talk about different things, like things that we all go through, like um, not feeling like you're at home in a certain place, diba? or um, being apprehensive about the future, being uncertain about you know where your life or your career or, or your passions are going. So I think it's a good mix of those those aspects of life that we experience as we grow up. The album launch itself was a big surprise and we were so happy with the turnout. I think there was like 600 people who came and who were just, you know, it was cool, like we didn't expect that. When you work so hard for something, it's, it's really nice to, you know, to get feedback from people and to just um, hear from people and how they appreciate um, your music or what you've done, what, how the music made you feel. A few months after we launched the album, we met, we met this person, that person biking. <laughs> so she offered uh, under Offshore to put their album out in vinyl. When we were test pressing it, we heard the difference. Talaga. It really sounds less digital and more like you put us all in a room, and, in a really well-miked room, and just had us play together. So for me, it sounded a lot more organic. And bagay siya, the ba? Like traces, old memories, vinyl. Like. <laughs> and so we are like super humbled and amazed at the opportunities that we've had over the last few years at the doors that have opened up. We've been able to go to Singapore, we've been to India twice, we got to play in Cebu, Iloilo, and Ilo, Davao. We've got to bring our music to places we, we've only dreamed. Being able to travel to these places and perform there just shows how music can speak a language that anyone can understand. For India, it was like they really wanted us to perform and we had zero knowledge of what we were supposed to expect. and to play for like 12,000 Indians like who don't know our music but somehow they like enjoyed it all the same. It was like unforgettable. Like, how many other festivals are there in the world that we have to go to? There's still a lot. There's still a lot of places that we can play in. Sometimes I feel like we don't deserve to be here but then we also earned we earned our our spot in those places too. Yeah, these 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 festivals are just like stepping stones hopefully or and um, we never really expected to have such an impact on people with the music but we're happy that people can relate to our music both here and outside the Philippines. Pretty much and we were just trying to get our name out there so it's um, it's very encouraging for us also for people to see how far we've come with it. I think each and everyone gives like um, their own spark to the, to the whole Ransom Collective and I think that's why we're a collective. We all give our own personality and I'm excited to, to see what more we can accomplish together. Like, it's not set in stone where we're going to record, when we're going to record, what we're going to record. And to me, that's, that's just, that means there's so much possibilities and it's a good thing. Being in a band is more than just having fun, it's more than just writing music. It's, it's really the ability to spread good vibes and good messages um, that can actually influence and change people. And so we, I think that changed our attitude as well. We have a greater respect for what we're doing. We feel a greater magnitude for, for what music can do. If we have the ability to, to affect someone's life in such a positive way, that's what we want to do. That's our purpose. That's our driving goal. That is our dream.